Hi, welcome to Rygenics Tech Blog. In this video, we'll learn about anonymous method. Anonymous method is closely related to delegate. We discussed elaboratively in one of our video about delegate that we can call a method that is referenced by a delegate using its object. Now, how about calling a method having no name? Well, anonymous method provides a technique to pass a code block as a delegate parameter and provides exactly same results as having a well-defined separate method. If I'm confusing you right now, then please stay with me for some time and I assure you that everything will be clear. Since I'm going to explain most of the things in code, so let's switch to Visual Studio. So let's create a console application. Let's name it as Anonymous and Lambda. Let's create a class called Anonymous Method. So what is Anonymous Method? A method with no name also known as inline delegate provides us a way to create a delegate object without writing separate method so anonymous method is a method without a name it is also at times known as inline delegate which provides us a way to create a delegate object without having a separate method if you want to know delegate in detail then I would recommend you to watch my video on delegate and predefined delegate like action and func. You can find the link in the description. So let's go ahead and create a method. Public area of rectangle. Let's pass the parameter length and breadth var area of rectangle equal to length to breadth. Let's return area of rectangle. Let's make this private. Let's create a public method calculate now as discussed earlier anonymous method provides us a way to create a delegate object without writing separate method before implementing that let's call this separate method using a regular delegate first so that it will help you to understand how does anonymous method works so now let's go ahead and declare a delegate that will point to our calculate area of rectangle method private calculate delegate now since we would like to call this method using this delegate the signature must match here so the return type is int and the parameters are to int variable so let's write int x int y now we have to create an instance of the delegate to point to the calculate area of the rectangle method so let's instantiate it calculate delegate let's pass our method now let's call the method using delegate and print the output. The idea of rectangle is, let's call the method using delegate. Let's pass length and breadth here and accordingly pass it here. Now what we have done here, we have a calculate area of rectangle method, created a delegate and using this delegate we are calling this method. Now let's go to program.cs class and call this method anonymous method calculate let's pass length and breadth let's build it all good let's run it and you get the expected output as 6 now do you see any problem here code wise there is no problem problem is the number of line of code that we have to write to achieve this simple functionality that looks to be an overhead how about pointing this couple of lines of codes directly to the place where the delegate is defined rather than creating a separate method. This is what we can achieve using anonymous method. Now let's refactor it using anonymous method. Just to make it look little simple, I can even assign a method to a delegate object instead of passing method as a constructor parameter of a delegate. Let's build it, still looks okay. As I mentioned, anonymous method is also known as an inline delegate. So let's get rid of this method using an anonymous method. To write an anonymous method, you just have to write delegate, pass the parameter that you want to pass, int x, int y, and just copy this code and paste it here. That's it. You can get rid of this method, build it, looks okay, still you get the same out. Now you can see how simple your code looks. Believe me, if you understand how this anonymous method works, the code becomes very much readable. 
I would not recommend anonymous method if you are going to write a huge number of lines inside this anonymous method because when your code is more it's always good to give it a good name to make it more readable but if it is just one or two lines or a couple of lines you can always go ahead and create an anonymous method and make your code more simpler now quickly I'll write a couple of scenarios where we can use anonymous method anonymous method can be passed to a method that accepts the delegate as a parameter let's see this let's create a method print number print number let's create a delegate print delegate print delegate pass a parameter int number let's take this delegate as a parameter to this method let's pass a parameter number now let's do some addition here to say 250 and then call the delegate now let's call it from program.cs let's come in this print number now what is the first parameter here it's a delegate now we want to pass anonymous method to a method that accepts a delegate as a parameter now let's write our anonymous method now how do we write anonymous method delegate the parameter int number let's give a curly press let's print the number the updated number number and what is the second parameter that we have to pass the second parameter is the number that we would like to add it let's pass it 150 that's it now what we are doing here this is our first parameter the anonymous method which will be received here as a parameter and we have the second number 150 as a second parameter this number we are adding it here and then calling our anonymous method and this anonymous method prints the number let's fill this all good let's run it now you get a 400 here so 150 plus 250 is 400 that's what our expected result is let's quickly write another scenario anonymous method can be used as event handlers so let's quickly write an event if you don't have much idea about event then I would recommend you to watch my video on event the link is available in the description let's write a method to invoke this event say we have save logic here now let's invoke the event will not pass any argument so empty let's subscribe it in program.cs let's comment this our event is my success event plus sql now what do we write here we write the event handler method name so instead of writing the method name we can write anonymous method so how do we write anonymous method again delegate we pass the parameter what parameter this event handler receives object sender even asks e let's print some messages update successful let's build it all good let's run it sorry you have to call the method which method invokes the event save build it again now see you get the expected result so what we have done here we have an event we're invoking this event when we invoke this event the subscriber fires the even handler method instead of having a separate even handler method we have written an anonymous method that's it for anonymous method i hope you guys found this video helpful if it did then please hit the like and subscribe button to see more such contents thank you